Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to Miles from India. Ladies, are you tired of wearing two and three sports bras at one time? Tired of seeing pictures of yourself and all you see is your boobs first because they're all up in your chin and bouncing around? Listen, I am with you. I am always in the market for a new sports bra and today I am giving you a bra review on the SheFit Ultimate Sports Bra High Support Bra. So check it out. What's up good people? Welcome to Miles from India. If you are new to this channel, I am India and if you are returning, what's up and welcome back. For my new people to this channel, I am doing a review on the She Foot Sports Bra, but this is going to look a little different because I am a runner. As you can see, all my medals behind me, I am a runner. So when it comes to support of a bra, there's a lot of things that need to come in play with bra support when you are a runner because the impact, the up and down movement, the body back and forth, chafing, all of those things come into account. So let's get into the review. I am gonna talk about size, comfortability, support, pricing, as well as just the look of the bra. And I'm gonna also give you a quick list of my pros and cons. Of course, when you first get the bra, it comes in this nifty bag, um, which is really a cute bag. At first, I was thought it was just good for packaging, honey, but no, it is actually for washing, but we'll get into that. So it comes with this bag. Um, and then it also comes with a measuring tape. I've gotten so many of these because I have so many of the bras, but a cute little measuring tape. Because you know what, we all know that Inches override the pounds. All right, so I currently have on the Ultimate She Fit bra, and then I also have one here. So this is what the actual bra looks like. This is the front, and this is the back. Yes, it is a very sturdy material, um, but a really good one. So the most interesting part about this one is it is a front zip bra. So you can unzip it here. And then it also has clips, so you actually clip it in the front. Prior to putting it, I say prior to zipping it up, obviously you want to clip it, and then you zip it up in the front. So something that I realized with this bra is that it does immediately come with cups. Honey, my breasts are big enough to where I don't need extra padding or extra cups, so I always take those out. Something that I love about this bra is the adjustable straps that are here. Something that I say all the time is to hoist these girls up. So you can see that these, the bra is relaxed here, but you can actually take the straps and pull them up. And that helps to bring them up, but also support them better. Then you have the adjustable back strap, which is here. And you can actually pull this as tight or as loose as you want. And the Velcro actually pulls around all the way to the side. So you are actually being able to really tighten yourself in there and make sure that you have the support that you need. All right, so let's talk about sizing. So as you all can see, I am a lot heavier in the chest, but I am smaller in my back. So back and waist ratio is a lot smaller than my chest and cup size. So this size here is a two lux. The sizes go from extra small, small, medium, and then when you get to large, it is considered a lux and it goes all the way up to six lux. So I would say it's really, really good. Um, the brand is really good in regards to um, appreciating the well-endowed ladies. Now, I will say I have about five of these bras. Now, my initial bra was a one lux. And I liked it, but the, your girl was spilling over in the top. And what I say, you get the four titties. Listen, I absolutely hate that. And even this one is a little bit, but when you have a heavier chest, you wanna ensure that you're finding bras that cover up further up the neckline so that you can have that coverage and you're not getting the spillage over the top. So the one locks did not work. This here is the two locks. Now I will say, when I did the initial fit quiz, it says that I should do the three lux when I gave them my measurements. However, I was a little bit concerned because the one lux was not horrible, um, and so I decided to go with the two lux. Now, what I did realize is that if I would have went with the three lux, 
the cut on the side probably would have been too far up into my um, into my armpits. However, it may have given me a little bit more coverage here. But the issue that I have with the sizing of the bras is that the cup is not deep enough, but it gives you a lot more room in the back space. So for someone that has bigger cups like my size, however smaller back, you have to continue to size up in order to get the deepness of the cup that you may need. But then your strap, your back strap comes all the way to the front, girl, because your back is small. <laughs> the struggle. <laughs> y'all, I forgot to tell y'all my bra size. I really need to go get fitted. It's been forever since I got fitted for a bra. But I'm that girl that's like, I'm a double D, but probably I'm like an H or a Z. But... I think I'm in at least a triple D at this point, um, but I could be a little bit bigger. 38 in the back, but I'm like a triple D. So of course, smaller back and waist, but bigger cups, which causes a problem when it comes to bra, five, bra size fitting. All right, let's get into how comfortable this bra is. So I don't know about you all, but I like my girls to be sucked up, tucked in, all together, hoist it up. Like I like a very compact feeling. I like that with my breasts. I like that with my tights, like everything. I don't like any loose feeling. I don't like any jiggling. So a lot of times you will see me with compression tights, compression sleeves. The tights are usually going to be high-waisted. Like I like everything to just be sucked in. And this bra definitely does that. It sucks you all the way in. If you are a type of person that you don't like, your breasts to be smashed kind of together, honey, this is not the bra for you because these things, this bra brings it all the way together, sucks it in and gives you pretty good support, but it is really good comfortability. So I will say that it is a, a pretty comfortable bra. Now, my concern, um, I have at times hoisted these suckers up a little bit too tight um, with these straps. So these straps, I just let them down, but you can literally hoist, I call it hoisting, like construction, but whatever. But you can pull these things up as tight as you want, and you can actually pull back your bra all the way to the back. Um, but I like it to be that because I feel like it gives me more comfort. However, I have done it so tight to where I started having back pain and neck tension because I went too tight. So don't grab, don't pull, don't hoist them too tight, but make sure that they're supported. Now, the last thing when it comes to comfortability, because I am a runner, I put in several miles. I've had this bra for probably over a year. I've had um, this bra, this sizing, I just recently got, um, but I have been wearing this bra for a while. Now, what I will say is that it is not as comfortable in the zipper piece here. I understand that they give you this little piece to cover the zipper. It don't work. It don't work. So my issue that I have with this bra is that I do get chafing. So I get chafing right in here. I don't know if y'all can see the scars, but I get chafing right in here due to the zipper piece and the band. So what I have found when I wear this bra is that I do have to use chafing cream all the way under my band to make sure that I'm good. I also use chafing cream here and I also have to ensure that this Velcro for the back is not bit is not coming over and it's up enough to where this does not rub. So I will say she foot has some work to do in regards to the smoothness of the bra. And I will say for people that are running, it, it feels a little bit different. Whereas if I'm just doing spin or if I'm doing like a leg workout, it is perfect. Or any kind of strength training, it's it works and it does well. Okay, so of course all on Facebook, all this bra talks, all they talk about with this bra is the high impact and no bounce. So I will say this bra is the bra that holds me in the most. I would definitely say that. It was one of those things where I have seen videos of me running with other bras and it just ain't it. But this bra, again, is high impact. It's their highest impact bra. And I'm gonna show you what the two, two Lux does for the bounce. So here is the bounce with the two Lux. I'm not holding anything in. The girls are pretty good. Now, I will say it is bouncing some, but for the most part, these girls are locked in. So here is the actual test of me running in the She Fit 2 Lux bra. As you can see, pretty good support. Of course, I'm gonna be moving some, but uh, doing pretty good. 
I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times when the advertisers are advertising for this bra, there are not many runners. It's mostly people doing lifting, maybe a little jump rope, but not really a lot of running. So hopefully they can see this and know, add some running to it. All right, so for all of that, let's talk about pricing. So these bras, and I feel like, honestly, ladies, if you're trying to get good support in a good bra, and when you are well endowed, to kind of think about, you're not gonna get a $20 bra. Once you get into C's and double D's and all of that, like a $20 bra ain't it. So for me, $60 is like a minimum for a bra. I know some people may say, wow, but, it just is what it is. So this bra runs 69. I know that I've seen some reviews and it used to be 65. They've increased the price line to 69. And then they also have um, just different, different exclusive or limited edition colors that the price may change. But for me, I feel like it is well worth the $69 um, that's needed. So just go ahead and cough it up and get what you can. So as I mentioned earlier, this bag comes when you purchase the bra. Now this actually is a washing bag. So the care instructions explains to you that you want to ensure that you put the bra inside of the bag for washing and that helps so it doesn't wrinkle up. And I will tell you, this is the first one that I had, which was, is the Lux, which I know y'all see how small this thing is but I thought that I was a little smaller than I was. But anyway, you wanna ensure that you're using the washing instructions, putting the items in the bag, because what I have found is that the straps start to roll up, and then of course you can see the lint as well, but the straps start to roll up and you don't want that and it kind of pokes out of your, your shirt or the, the it's just not as smooth. So you want to do that. And then of course you also don't want to dry these bras. You shouldn't be drying any bras regardless. No sports bras should be dried in the dryer. They should all be air dried. But specifically, this definitely says that and I would definitely go with the instructions. All right, so let me go over some quick pros and cons that I feel when it comes to this sports bra. So the pros, really good support. Again, I am a runner. I feel like this bra really holds me down. And again, I just up my size. And so I feel like the size upping helps with more support. So think about that. And so you're not spilling with the four titties. Yeah, you don't want any of that. I also feel like it is good in regards to the price line. It's not super, it's not horrible. Um, and you also can get different colors. This here is just a nude, which I like on my chocolate skin. As I showed you, I have a lilac one, I have black, and they have all fancy different colors. So just because you are well endowed, need a little extra support, doesn't mean that you have to have not so good looking bras. And the other thing is the shipping and return policy is super simple. So it is very easy to do any exchanges because they want to ensure that you have the right sizes. So I would definitely say those are the pros of this bra. Okay, let's talk about the cons of this bra. So I am very big into stuff aesthetic, being aesthetically pleasing. When I put a shirt on, you can see the zipper here. Like if I put a fitted shirt on, you can see the zipper piece here. I absolutely hate it. So it's not smoothing because there's so much design within the shirt. As a runner, if I put a singlet on, you can see that I have a bra underneath that is that is designed which I, I, I just really don't like. I like a smooth. So if they can give more of a smooth thing and it still have the good support, I think that that would definitely be worth it. The biggest con for me is the chafing that this bra causes right in here and around the line. Because I am a runner, a lot of times and when I'm doing distance runs, I am running hours at a time. I don't like chafing just without the bra issues in between the legs anywhere. So the fact that I have to go an extra mile for the support, I do it, but that doesn't mean that I like it. And the last con is the extra step with the wash bag. Sometimes when we just have sweaty clothes, we would just want to throw that mug in the washing machine, but we can't always have that. So I would definitely say that those are the cons. If I was real, the pros and cons, the cons are a little petty, but it's like, if you really want the support, you want to look nice, sleek, slim, not have your girls beat you up and give you a black eye. I definitely recommend the She Fit Bra. They do have some technical things like the chafing issues for runners that they really need to adjust. But I think if you are a well endowed, a lady, um, it's good. I think if you are of a smaller size, you can probably get away with cheaper, smaller bras. And so I know when I was looking through reviews on here, I was like, girl, she don't even need support. Like she can put on a Walmart bra and be good. 
girls that are well endowed we need a little extra and this is a good good go-to bra for now i am still on the market of course but it's been working for me all right ladies so definitely drop your comments below if you have a worn or tried this bra so thank you very much everyone for watching this video definitely like subscribe and share um i know some people may have come to this video that are not a runner i am a runner i show, show a lot of tips tricks and everything in between and run with me so definitely check me out. Hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to y'all again soon.